Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the number one selling, most popular Class B Plus on a Mercedes in the world. This is the 2020 Winnebago yeah, Navion. Navion. Oh my God. <laughs> Winnebago Navion slash Winnebago View model 24J. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to show you the number one selling Winnebago of all time, the Navion slash View, uh, and this model 24J being the corner bed, corner bed model. Now, before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. You guys are awesome and priceless, and nobody knows what it's like to have a mother like that. Yes, and here's what I would like to say. Also, happy Mother's Day to any influential women out there who have... On the front lines. Well, just any influential women. Maybe they don't have kids, but maybe they still spread love and positivity to the world. Absolutely. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. We appreciate it. So, uh, let's begin. Model is 24J, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length is 25 feet, 5 inches. This is the Winnebago Navion. Again, sister product to the view same exact thing and it does have the mercedes chassis now just so everybody knows there's two different mercedes chassis out there there's the regular one that have the adaptive cruise control and you know the lane technology package and all that good stuff and then there's another chassis like that one there that's the 2be chassis now when when you look you can't really tell a difference well you can this one has a little bit of chrome where that one does not but the main indicator is inside. That one only has a six inch screen, which means it doesn't have all the fancy features. This one has a 10 inch screen. And so you can really see the features. Also, I would like to point out, you have two different options if you can get the side of this, Andrea. This one has partial body paint. So it's paint up there. Well, it's full body paint, but so, so it's full body paint, but it's not as a labyrinth or I don't even know the word. Vibrant. You, you see that paint job compared to that paint job? Yes. You know, and that's, it's more money to do that. It's a more detailed paint job. Me personally, I don't care. I'd save the money and go with well, this. Well, let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah. Is this one the upgraded Mercedes chassis? This one's the upgraded Mercedes okay. chassis. Okay, yeah. okay. So while uh, coming up front, you do have a nice seamless fiberglass front cap. I absolutely love that. There's no seams in that. It's a lot more expensive to do that, but I feel like it's a big deal and it's super worth it. You got your mirrors here. This does have the 3.0 liter V6 engine, Mercedes diesel, 188 horsepower and all that good stuff. Look at those Alcoa Alcoa. Rims. Alcoa. Oh man, look at this. Van Contact AS. I don't even know what that means. LT215-85 R16. Cool. I like that step up look. Yes. Very nice step up, and uh, you even have these holders so you can leash your dog down. Oh. You do have an armless awning with wind sensor. We're too close right here to pull it out, but it's very nice, and I like the way the awning looks. Yes. It doesn't look like the awning. It looks like a continuous version. It looks, yep, it looks like it's part of the RV. Yep. I love these doors here. Yeah. We call these aircraft style doors. They look doors. like the European doors. Let me get yep. a good shot of that. Yep. Okay. You guys can see. Okay. And Very look at that. Nice. I love the, the shade there. Yep. Very, Very nice feature. Nice. Nobody does their doors better than the Navion view. All right. Then we got these baggage doors to swing up. Right there, you have a little bit of storage. Very nice. Not bad. I Not love, bad. I love the aluminum slam latch doors. Coming down the side here, Andrea, that is a instant hot tankless water heater. I love that. You do have a propane quick connect right there. Okay. 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 Back up. Oh. oh, that's a good amount of storage. Oh, look, even back there, a little yeah. bit. Okay. Okay. What's under there, babe? Let's find out. 
Oh, probe? That's the uh, generator. Generator, yep. Propane. It's a Cummins Onan 3600 LP generator. You can also option this motorhome with a diesel generator. Nice. The diesel ones are better, but I wouldn't spend the money on it. Okay, and we got here some more storage, guys. More storage. And then right here with the lock and key, potable water fill. Potable. 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 All right. Nice. Coming around the back. You have a 5,000 pound hitch. Now you cannot tow 5,000 pounds. Mercedes did change it to 4,300 pounds as a safe tow rating. Um, right up there, oh, look back here. You have rear stabilizers. Nice. Nice, like that. You got your backup camera right there. That looks like a nice backup camera. Yep, and you have a one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, Yes. let's go up there and take a look. Look at that. No bumper, so, oh, do you do your stretches? Oh yeah. Oh, I wow. We're right in the sun, guys. I got this. Please hang on with both hands. Yeah. You want, going get along in a zoo. <laughs> All right. Up here on the roof, you can see this is a small motor home, so only one AC unit. Right up there is a Max Air fan, and here's a Max Air fan. You got your King Air digital antenna. You can see that little hump right up there for the fiberglass front cap. And then right here, you can see that it already has solar on the roof, is it, and it is prepped for a third solar. Please be careful. Here we go now. Ugh. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are RV salesmen's gonna take this fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Cool, let's finish up with the driver's side. Okay. Oh. A little wet bay. That's very little. 30 amp power cord station. Black it, and gray tank dump station. At least it's easy to, you know, figure everything out. And at least it's all enclosed. And there's your uh, sewer connector, right? Yep. Right there. Right here, you do have your black and gray tank flush system. Oh. For your black tank flush what's system. This? Oh, that's nice. A little wow. bit more storage. Uh, you know, what's a lot of storage on here for it being so little? Yep, watch your steps here. All right. Very nice. All right. Yep, our very propane. Nice. There's a propane. Um, That is a 12.9. Hang on a second. Crap, I forgot. Up here, Andrea. That is a 12.2 gallon propane tank and also Andrea yes we will have all the specs of this motorhome stop trying to close that we'll have all the specs of this motorhome right here bing you see that you see that see it yep I see it there's on the all screen. the specs I see there's it on all the, screen. the specs all right well Andrea oh one more thing right uh, here this is where you fill up your diesel fuel cargo carrying capacity is 1336 1, pounds that's the most on a Mercedes. I love that step up. It's yep. Just, oh, I can't wait to sit down in there. It looks so comfortable. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right, Skippy. Wow. Oh, I love this European look. Very nice. There's the bunk. Very nice. Okay, wait, let me walk back because yeah, I want to show to the that I can get back here with plenty of room to get to the bathroom. And the slides are in. And here's the bathroom. Corner bed. Great, Very yes, nice. this was, looks like when the slide outs out. Oh, I got a... Oh, okay, interesting. Great. Okay, got the solar charger slide button. What I like is how you can still use the bed even though the slide outs Yes, in. definitely. Great. Now while the slide outs coming out, I've got a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, leave down in a comment below thanking your mothers for Mother's Day. Both alive and not with us anymore, you know. It's a circle of life as um, James Earl Jones says on Lion King, but we, we, we appreciate everybody and you know, so show some loves for your moms. Oh, and you know what we should do? We show my mom right here. Bing! Happy Mother's Day, Mo. We love you. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. All right, let's get started up front. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice Mercedes front. This is that big 10-inch screen 
that I'm talking about. Oh man, see, whenever you say that word Mercedes, it picks up with what you're saying. Hey Mercedes, directions, directions to General RV. Please repeat. Directions to General RV Center. What would you like to do? <laughs> Buy an RV. Hi, Mercedes. What can I do for you? Directions. All right. Nice. So I guess it works. <laughs> right here, you got your handle, you got your push start stuff, you know, all that good stuff, adaptive cruise control. What's that? You, you know, your power, your seats, your lumbar, you know, good stuff right there. I like it. Cool. Ooh, look how sleek the cup holders look. Yeah. Why don't you sit right. in the passenger seat? Oh, babe, we need one of these just for just me and you. No. I like it. It's comfortable. Yeah. I like that you have an arm. This is very, very elegant yep i just i love the way it feels i love the feng shui of it oh <laughs> feng shui stop with the close-ups all right and yeah everything just looks really nice really yep, elegant really modern you know you got that carbon fiber got look european look european look and then we got a bunk over the cab now you see this cushion though these seats do swivel to become part of the living area and the cushion so when it's turned around you're boosted some and then as Andrea said, yep, we do have a bunk over the cab. This only holds 250 pounds. This is for the non-paying customers. Yep. It's but a small one up there. Actually, I mean, it is small, but it has a lot of room to sleep. Yep. And you got windows on the side. I like that. Yep. Electrical outlet back there, USB. Got a window here and a reading light and also a privacy curtain. Very nice. And a fantastic fan right there. Fantastic. And then you got the ladder. And then here's what I love. Oh, I love this dinette. Well, look, look, the table dinette. goes yep. both ways. It goes all the way around. Yep. And you know what, Matt? I like that it's wood. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. I love this. The seat. You got the seat extenders. So you have more space. For tall people who need longer legs. Look at this. Oh. Look how big this window is. That's a beautiful window. Daytime and nighttime shades. Yep. And guys, you know, this dinette does drop down to make a bed. Yes, um, it sure does. And it makes an adult size bed. Yes, it does. You know. It's a great size dinette, and I love the extensions on there. And I love how this dinette, the way you're sitting, you're directly across from the yes. TV. And, and the way they make this, Andrea, this isn't like your typical dinette. This is a comfortable position for me. Yes. You know, when you have your dinettes that are just like this, and they don't have this back part, you know, I can't be sitting here right. to watch TV enjoyably. And he, uh, yes. For that, you know, you can lay, lean on the back and it's nice. And I love the cabinets. Uh-huh. I love how they lock in place when you push the button in. Yeah, let me show you that. When it goes down. You just push it in and it locks, which yep. is great. I love the lights. And look at the balance. I love what Winnebago's doing. And also, I'm a big fan of the slide because it's not a dark piece of chunky wood. It actually looks really great in here, bright and open. There it is. There's these little clippers here. And over there we have the thermostat. Very nice. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Beer, 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 beer. MSRP on this motorhome is $163,005 MSRP. Wow. We have it 25% off MSRP, so map pricing to 122,255. That's a great price. It is. Again, that's the price with the new chassis. But Andrea, yes, we can get you a better price than that. Tell everyone how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or contact me directly through my website, mattsrvreviews.com. Andrea, let's continue the video. I would like to say one last thing if you want to look at that motorhome over there. Look, look at it through the door. So that one has the older chassis, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a discount, but it has the full body paint, right. which is an upgrade. So that one sells for about the same price. Okay. So, you know. Oh guys, one thing I forgot to mention, big deal here. 
the screen. Do you see how this screen goes across the door? I love it. Oh yeah. It's a really, this is great. I love what they're doing. So as you can see that, no more clunky like screen doors. Yeah, I love that. And you know what? We forgot to point that out in one of our videos. Sometime. And also we have the handle here. I like oh, that a lot. Nice. All right, Andre, show everybody the kitchen. Okay, so since I'm right here, I'm gonna go to this TV. So it does not come out. Yes, it does. Does it really? Which way does it go, babe? It swings. <laughs> oh, okay. Swing. Hey, say that, say that. Swing. Swing. You got a paper towel holder here. Uh -huh. Very nice. You got a little bit of, of storage up here, guys. And I, like Matt said, I do like this window. Very nice big window. You don't have the shades, but you have mini blinds here. Yep. Uh, look at this. I like the sink. I like the square sink. Look at this. Not cheap at all. Yep. Solid surface countertop. Hey, Andrea. Can you give a shout out to Christopher Waite? Christopher Waite? In, out out of North Carolina. Hi, how you doing up there in North Carolina? Well, he's not in North Carolina. He's in Virginia right now. Oh. He just bought a boat home from me literally like 10 seconds Congratulations. ago. Congratulations. And, and that's a good plug. Hey guys, we can sell you anything from any general. Yes. So give us a call. Congratulations, enjoy. Yep. Now and, stop texting me. I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> and here's the beautiful double square sink. I love it. Yep. I love this. I love how Winnebago uses these colors. I, I just like the simplicity of it. Um, I like how it's just bright in here. Um, underneath the sink, we have the cabinets. So we have, oh, very nice. Awesome. Look at this space. Awesome. Uh, rack here yep is that a water purifying system sure is nice i like it and we just lock it just like that yep above the stove we have another cabinet and you wow. have your inverter over here yep. your tank heater it's very nice good storage space you know what i like about big this? storage matt you know what i like about this what's that i like how they have done the white in here uh-huh and then it it goes into darker cabinetry over here Okay, keep going. Now guys, look at above the slides. We forgot to turn the lights on. I love this. Check it mm. out if you can see the ambiance, the light. The feng shui. The feng shui. Yep. <laughs> and underneath here, you got a splash guard right here. Very nice. And we have one induction top and one propane cooktop. So nice. we have two burners. Look at these drawers. Boy. Very oh nice. Oh my God. Very, I think that was soft Oh my God. Clothes. Yeah. Oh, wait, was it? It feels like it is, but no. No, oh, okay. But look at the light underneath as well. Very nice. Love it. Okay, I'm actually really surprised about this refrigerator being as big as it is in here. Right, especially for a B plus, a lot of times yeah, they'll give you the small Yeah, it's very tiny. But this looks like it runs off of freeway. Does it, babe? Uh, I, th I think it's a compressor. Yeah, I think it's just batteries. No propane for the fridge. Nice. Very, very nice. nice. Very nice, and I like. Across here we do. Well, hang on. Here's a shoulder. I did show that. Oh, we? you did? Mm -hmm. My bad. Okay, guys. Sorry, babe. Stop the close-ups. We have the microwave. Yep. Oh, I think we're not level. There we go. Now that's a convection oven. Yep, sure is. It's very little but doable. And check this out. We got another cabinet user yep. error. <laughs> And, and look at the cabinetry. I mean, you can just tell I with the quality it, of it. Guys, now, look at this. Now listen, I don't like I don't like these, y'all. I don't like the price that they are. I we would never buy one for us, but you can definitely tell the quality in oh, here. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? I and, love and, and, this. and it is worth the money. It's just not my style, right? Definitely no. not your style. My style, yes. Oh, <laughs> your style. But yes, very nice. Uh, love that. And then here we have some wardrobe space yep and then we have a drawer underneath very nice over here we got the medicine cabinet hey that's the bathroom that's my part it? well i'm just going to show outside here okay and then we got a cute little modern sink i like that a lot very cute look at the winnebago, winnebago detail right here very nice and then under see i love the lights underneath here it's just yep. really cute very nice. Very nice. Electrical outlet here. And All then right. Matt is going to open up the bathroom. Now, if you see this door, very sleek. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. That fan's different. What's that called, Matt? Oh, fantastic. Or it was Max Air Fan, one of the two. Okay. All right. So here's the shower. Kind of like the head design, even though it's leaking on me. 
you know, really good size shower for a small motorhome. You know, uh, it just is what it is. You got the nice sky going. Light. Plenty of light. Yep. Can you close this? Okay. And you got a towel rack there. Yep. And what's over here? You uh, got the fan. Yep. Oh, that's for the heater. And you got the water pump. Now check oh, it out. Oh, look at that. Yep. Now check this out, Andrea. A lot of people don't like the sink not being in the bathroom, but I think I'm fine with that because it looks like since there's no sink, oh man, look at this. Porcelain toilet. Nice. And this is a prime pooping position. See, so many people are gonna complain about the sink being outside of the bathroom, but it would be right here, which would make it a non-prime right. pooping position. So, also, I love that. Also, a lot of times, if you're just washing your hands or doing brushing your teeth, if somebody's in the bathroom, you don't have to wait to get yep. in there. You can do your business out here. Yep. So I like that. Also notice how there's no heat ducts on the floor. Yes. Very and nice. And Matt, what do you give that bathroom? Oh, four piece. That's a prime pooping position, y'all. Definitely. I love it. I love it. Great. Let's finish up with the bedroom. Nice. You can climb into that. <laughs> oh, look. Okay, turn oh, those lights on back look there. Oh, these. Turn, turn those lights on so we can see better. All right, guys, if you can see, it's like little storage bins right yeah, there. Yeah, like little cell phone holders. Very cute. Cool. And above, we have the lights as well. And here is a cabinet. Yep, and then shut that one and open that Very one. Very nice. Lots of space. Yep. And then we have this one here. Yep. Then you have a TV there. Oh, I love this big window, how it opens. Got the MCD shades, yes. Very nice. That one's is great. Why don't you show the TV from that angle? So as you can see, you have the TV here, mm -hmm. and then you have a privacy curtain. Very nice. How's the bed? Comfortable. Very cute. Great. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before you all leave, it's now time we give you three things. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> There's a little sawdust there. All Jebediah yogurt. <laughs> now it's time to give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'll go first. I don't like the corner bed. Never have been, never will be. It's great if you're one person, but if it's two people and somebody's on the inside, they'd have to crawl over somebody on the outside. It is what it is though. It is what it is. But you know what? I like this one better than some of the other floor plans. Yeah. Definitely. So that's one, two. Um, you know what? I, I'm really not a fan of the bunk. Yep, me too. Uh, Small bunk over the cab. It looks a lot bigger on the outside than what it really is. Right. Um, and it's like, only for one person. Yeah, I feel like I would almost rather it not be here uh -huh. and just have more cabinetry. Yep. And that just is what it is. And I agree. And then three, three, three. I'm gonna say, can I say it? the bathroom shower? No. No, 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 not the shower itself. No, it's a nice shower. No, babe, listen, I don't like these. All I right. Like I All feel right. It, it could have been a little bit more durable, maybe something a little, with a little bit more material. Okay. It's just very, I don't know, fancy. Well, if you're gonna say that, then it's now time for the three things we love about this motorhome. Okay. So what's the first thing we love about it? The toilet. Yes, sit on it. And, oh, I love this. I love the toilet paper holder. Yep. And it's up out of the way. I love the position. Yep. I love the curvature of the door. Yes. I love how the sink's out here. And again, so many people, Andrea, so many people are gonna comment saying they don't like that. Yes. I prefer that, because that's a prime pooping position. Definitely. In such a small motorhome. So that's one. Two, I love the dinette. Yes. You know, you guys know me. I'd much rather have a sofa than a dinette. But, but this is this like a sofa. this dinette is like a sofa. Yep, I and agree. I like how the table spins when you get in, you know, and uh, it's nice, it's big, it's comfortable. Four people can easily sit around this and be plenty comfortable. Can I combo my last one? Nope, you can have it all to yourself. Oh, thank you. Okay, one thing. I'm a very big fan of the lighting in here. Okay. Um, I just, I love that look. I love the European look. I love the lights above. I love the lights on the floor. Yep. Um, I just like the way it feels in here. It's very open. It's very bright. It's very modern. Yes. Also. Very modern in here. I love this refrigerator. The size for this small of a motorhome. 
Because you will yep. see normally in these B pluses, very small refrigerators. Yep, dorm room fridges. Yeah, this is great. Uh, yep, it's nice. Yeah, I love absolutely it. love it. I 110 percent agree with you. Great. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 is my cell number. Or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Right there. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say to the people? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this motorhome and the three things that you dislike. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about the sink and everything. So let us know. Also, um, if you haven't gotten a sticker, like Matt said, go to mattsrvreviews.com, ding, and get a sticker. And hey, all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Yep. Take a break. Put your feet up. Yep. Have your kids or your children cook your breakfast. All right. Enjoy the day. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea. We'll see you next time.